school district in Kansas is now the first in the state to use an antimicrobial product developed right here in Lenexa in their classrooms. That product is called dry hydrogen peroxide. So KSHB 41 News reporter Charlie Keegan has been following this story for us now for a couple of months. Joins us with this update now. Charlie, remind us what this is and what it does. So in its basic sense, dry hydrogen peroxide is the gas form of the liquid hydrogen peroxide you probably have in your medicine cabinet right now. Well, the company here, Synexis, behind me in Lenexa, Kansas, has developed a way for that dry hydrogen peroxide to really attack microbes, viruses, molds as it floats through the air of indoor spaces and lands on surfaces. Southern Coffee County School District saw the benefits of that and has become the first K-12 school district in Kansas to use Synexis products in its classrooms. You're looking at pictures that Synexis shared with us of its products in that school district down there about two hours or so from Kansas City. I had a chance to speak with a superintendent who told me that protecting students is really one of his top priorities and he thinks that Synexis can help him do that because of peer-reviewed studies that show this product is effective at killing COVID-19 and other viruses as well as mold. That includes the environment they're learning in, um, the air they're breathing daily. Um, so that's a priority of the Board of Education and myself is to take care of our staff and students 100 percent. We're uh, real time uh, microbial reduction 24 7 365. So actually before that virus can get across the room, likely it's being impacted by one of our dry hydrogen peroxide molecules. So it cost the Southern Coffee County School District about $90,000 to install those Synexis products in its three buildings. It did pay for most of that through grants that it received as part of the American Rescue Plan that Congress passed in March. So a lot of school districts will have that option to use some of that grant money from Congress uh, COVID relief packages to install products like this hmm. if they so choose, guys. So if other school districts are hearing this and going, right. wait a minute, uh, Charlie, what should school districts consider? Well, they want, to, they want to consider a layered approach and not just using a product like Synexis, but combining it with things like filtration and wiping down surfaces, masks, things like that. Use multiple layers. And then when you're reviewing something like this, you should always ask for independent or peer-reviewed studies, data that comes from those kinds of studies, or even data from real-world experiences to, you know, translate and how that product might help your specific school district or business. All right, Charlie Keegan live for us this morning in Lenexa. Charlie, thank you very much.